Hi, so hi, for those of you who um came to, that sounded really weird, that hi, in San January, let me try again. Hi, <laughs> that was horrible. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Hey guys, it's Ikra, and I just wanted to take this moment to make a small note about everything that's been going on and happening. So when this video was filmed, which was like a month ago, the whole Black Lives Matter movement and what had happened to George Floyd hasn't happened yet. And so I don't really touch upon it in the video. And usually I keep my channel free of like political talk or anything of that sort. But this is such a prominent issue that's bigger than any of us. And we really, the only way to make a change is to just talk about it and share our feelings, our thoughts, our emotions everything you really need to use your voice to make a change and that's what we're doing today going forward i will be having a bunch of links and resources in my bio my description rather it's actually going to be like a master link which i'm sure you've seen going around on instagram i will have two so one will be a master link that will have petitions places to donate books you can read um things on netflix you can watch all of that just like in one master post i urge you to check it out it's actually really cool i've been using that to educate myself and finding resources that you would need during this time and the other one is going to be pending petitions that haven't reached their goal yet if you guys have signed a petition you know that it kind of saves your information so it will literally take you like a second to just like click a button and your petition will be signed and it's just gonna really help the cause at hand this is a conversation worth having and i hope you guys are having this tough conversation with your friends and your family and just educating yourselves and your, the people around you it's such a huge topic and it's insane to see how things just haven't changed over the years but yeah i just wanted to put that out there and everything will be linked in my videos going forward now my videos aren't monetized because i just don't post enough but if they were um all the funds would be going to places to donate for the cause if you guys have anything to share with me or with us rather please 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 um comment it down below my instagram is always in the bio so if you guys want to dm things to me um post please do that's all i have to say um i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video those of you who came on to see like a calm, well thought out, no makeup makeup look, well I had one and I, I didn't like it so we're going with this one. I'm sorry if you hate it. Oh, also if you're wondering why my hair looks different from a thumbnail, um, my explanation was horrible. It's a whole different day. Hi, it's a whole different day than I filmed that video and took that thumbnail so yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> what else are we waiting for? This isn't the makeup look for today. It could be, but it's not. It's just a little something I threw on this morning. And if it doesn't look blended, well, it's because it's not, not blended. blended. Also, I just have to point this out. That thing back there, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, what it will be, what it was. Really hoping my big head can block it for the whole video. I'm sorry if it does show up. It's distracting me too. I over all right, I'm getting distracted again. Let's go. Okay. So for this look, you really don't want to pack on more makeup and you kind of want to let like acne scars and pimples and redness kind of seep through even like the tiredness of your eyes. So today I have a really big pimple. I kind of picked it and don't do that, but we're gonna have to work with it today. I want to talk to you guys about three skincare products that I've been loving and no, this isn't sponsored, obviously, like who the would sponsor Alright, I'm just gonna bring out the products because what are we waiting for all right i feel like i've been talking so fast and i'm so sorry i do that when i'm anxious and i start rambling i'm gonna slow down so the first thing you want to do is definitely to moisturize i use a serum this is from ulta it's called peach and lily it's their glass refining serum it really just gives you like a glass skin look and it makes your skin really tight so if you like that i guess you could check it out i mean moving on to the next one they're probably not going to give me brand deals by looking back at this footage. The next product that I have is from Tatcha. All right. Yeah, I know it's stupid, stupid expensive, expensive and I'm and so, I'm so sorry, sorry for using it, but I do have to recommend this because I kind of like it. It's their The Pearl. It's like a under eye luminosity kind of tinted. I've been using this since March and um, I really like it. I mean, it's dumb expensive. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to check it out, you can check it out. It's... I use it. And the last thing we're going to talk about today is something very important and something very crucial. That's right. I'm talking about sunscreen. If you're watching this video and it's the daytime and the sun's out, even if it's gloomy actually, and you haven't worn sunscreen yet, stop. Put on sunscreen. I use this one by Neutrogena. It's SPF 45, so you know. I don't really know what that means, but it's there.
it's their ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen if you have dry skin this isn't for you please find a sunscreen that's suitable for your skin type even if it's coming from like your moisturizer please wear sunscreen all right um now i'm gonna take off my makeup and i can't believe i'm taking off makeup just to put on makeup again but let's do this if you guys are wondering what i use to take off my makeup sometimes because this is not what i use all the time well i'll tell you it's the garnier micellar water i can't believe i, can't I didn't know water. water and a cotton pad put some on it and i do this um i'm not gonna be taking off my eye makeup because you know when you like take off mascara and it just runs so i'll just take off my face makeup i want you guys to do this with me because this is a no makeup makeup look i am using this brush and some concealer to conceal the redness on my face we're using a small brush like this brush what small brush like this because it's nice and defined and so because i didn't take off my mascara we will just skip that step let's pretend the first step as mascara how about that so guys the first step is mascara i like to use a tinted moisturizer like this one from laura mercier i've been using this for like four years not like this i bought new product over the years but i mean i've been using this product not like this product but like you know what i'm talking about i'm confusing myself right now so on a sponge and i'm just gonna like and this doesn't do much i'm not gonna lie like this product doesn't have coverage or anything but it does even out your skin tone um i feel like i don't really need concealer since this is like a no makeup makeup look you should let your tiredness just shine this is its moment right now like right now but if you want to put on concealer using this concealer from milani and you just blend your concealer don't put too much on but just like blend it you don't want this to look creasy or cakey next we're gonna use translucent powder since it has no color or tint to it this is like my last video where i said i look like a blank addict and then my great friend Anne, hi Anne, told me um i can't say that word okay i put it all over my face i feel like that made me really white take some off we're going to bronze. My favorite bronzer from the drugstore, it's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. You take a big brush and you just get product and then you hold your hair back and you do this and, and you just do a lot of this. Blending, that's what it is. And we bring the color back to our face. And since it's summer, you can definitely go ham with this. I mean, who's gonna stop you, right? We're all quarantined, so no one's really even gonna see this. Okay, moving on dark thoughts okay the next step would be mascara but like we put on mascara and if you guys want to know what mascara i use i use the Too Faced better than if you guys want a tight line just to make your lash line look more defined use a brown eyeliner i use the one from nyx and i just show you which one i use i use this one from nyx it's brown just like the color i'm gonna be using this blush trio i absolutely love this palette i got it from boxycharm and i've never heard of this brand but yeah um don't use a blush that's like too corally and red that's a dead giveaway but i'm gonna tell you right now this blush is is very very corally, corally and red, 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 red. yeah yeah you want to kind of put it on top of your nose like a burnt look like you went out in the sun and got burnt and yeah this like really wakes your face up some people skip blush but like i love blush i don't know how people skip blush if you skip blush why okay i'm gonna stop putting more on i'm like going ham but yeah after you put some on you can just blend it out if you feel dry use like a mist the mario badescu rose water I haven't tried it here try it i'm gonna try it now that's enough next we're gonna do a highlighter and the highlighter i'm using is from tarte i don't forget what it's from and i'm just gonna put it on my nose don't use a blinding highlighter use something that you know doesn't work that sounds mean but it's true i'm just gonna use my fingers and just i don't really do my eyebrows what i do is just take brow gel and just gel it up and the last step is 
lipos which i don't know how to say in spanish you're gonna take a lip liner that's like your lip shade but better take the lid off and you're just gonna not really line it or fill it in then you're gonna take lip gloss gloss this one's from fenty yeah, I also took product off of this just so like it's not that glossy. If you guys want to give your eyes some definition, use your bronzer and like a big fluffy brush and just... It doesn't even need to be like clean. It can just be messy. Alright, this is it you guys. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoy this video. It's really not difficult. It's about just doing what you're comfortable with and not too much and too less. Obviously like adjust it. Like you could definitely still see acne scars peek through and I could just like do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't recommend you touching your face. Not not at a time like this. Also, but um wash your hands your daily reminder i hope you guys like this look i will catch you in my next video and don't forget to seize the day